Russia is introducing nuclear-tipped air-to-air missiles as part of an overall expansion of its nuclear forces, according to an assessment recently published by the Pentagon's Defense Intelligence Agency. While nuclear-armed air-to-air missiles were a known part of the Soviet Union's arsenal during the Cold War, their role within Russia's modern aerospace forces has remained largely unclear. The DIA's disclosure of a new nuclear-capable air-to-air missile variant has therefore drawn considerable attention. Since the R-37M itself has been in development and public view for over a decade, the DIA's reference to a new weapon is almost certainly pointing to a nuclear-armed variant of the missile now being fielded. The R-37M is a modernized, ultra-long-range interceptor missile, known to NATO as the AA-13 Axe Head. So, in today's video, we're taking an in-depth look at the R-37M, Russia's newest nuclear-capable air-to-air missile, exploring its capabilities, potential strategic role, and implications for modern aerial combat. Let's dive in. The R-37M missile traces its lineage back to the Soviet-era R-33, itself a long-range missile developed for the MiG-31 interceptor aircraft. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia continued to evolve this concept, developing the R-37 as a successor. Eventually, a significantly modernized variant, designated the R-37M, emerged in the early 2000s tens, featuring advanced electronics, improved range, and precision guidance systems. Produced by Russia's Vimple Design Bureau, the R-37M entered active service around 2019. Primarily integrated onto the MiG-31BM Foxhound interceptors, it has since seen expanded integration onto advanced multi-role fighters like the Su-35S and is slated for use on Russia's fifth-generation Su-57 stealth fighter. The R-37M is distinguished by its remarkable operational range and speed. At approximately 4 meters long and weighing over 500 kilograms, it's significantly larger than conventional short- or medium-range missiles. Its standout feature is the reported maximum engagement range of up to 400 kilometers. If true, this would exceed the range of most Western air-to-air -air missiles. The missile can reportedly achieve hypersonic speeds, exceeding Mach 6, which dramatically reduces the time adversaries have to detect, track, and respond to the incoming threat. For guidance, the R-37M utilizes inertial navigation, combined with mid-course datalink updates and an active radar seeker for precise terminal phase targeting. The recent DIA assessment explicitly states Russia's intention to deploy a nuclear-armed variant of the R-37M, bringing back Cold War-era doctrines of nuclear air-to-air -air combat. Although details remain scarce and officially unconfirmed by Moscow, the sheer size and payload capability of the R-37M make it a logical candidate for carrying a tactical nuclear warhead. Historically, Nuclear-tipped air-to-air missiles were developed primarily to neutralize dense formations of high-value aircraft, such as bombers or reconnaissance planes. If the R-37M indeed carries such a warhead, it would represent Russia's first publicly known nuclear air-to-air -air missile since Soviet times, drastically altering the strategic implications of aerial engagements. Currently, the MiG-31BM interceptor is the primary launch platform for the R-37M, leveraging its exceptional altitude and speed capabilities to maximize the missile's range and effectiveness. Russia has also integrated the missile onto the Su-35S multi-role fighter, significantly enhancing its beyond-visual-range combat capabilities. Future integration onto Russia's advanced stealth fighter, the Su-57, will further broaden its tactical applications. The missile has already seen operational deployment during the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. In 2022 and 2023, 
Reports emerged detailing successful engagements by Russian Su-35 fighters equipped with R-37Ms against Ukrainian combat aircraft operating over contested airspace. While these reported incidents involved conventional warheads, they demonstrate the missile's capability to effectively engage maneuverable targets at extended ranges. The introduction of a nuclear-tipped R-37M would mark a significant shift in modern aerial warfare doctrine. By possessing the capability to employ tactical nuclear weapons against aerial targets, Russia adds a new layer of complexity and deterrence to potential aerial engagements. This move signals Moscow's willingness to escalate quickly, complicating NATO and Western Air Force's strategic calculations in potential conflicts. Such a nuclear air-to-air -air capability, however, brings considerable risks. The potential use of nuclear weapons in aerial combat significantly lowers the threshold for nuclear escalation, introducing the risk of severe political and strategic repercussions, even in limited conflicts. From a defensive perspective, the emergence of such a capability places renewed emphasis on developing advanced countermeasures, electronic warfare systems, stealth technology, and long-range standoff weapons among Western air forces. Looking ahead, the R-37M and its nuclear-capable variant will likely remain central components of Russia's strategic and tactical aerial arsenals. As integration expands across Russia's newest platforms, the missile will become an increasingly common feature of Russian air operations. This evolution will inevitably drive NATO and allied air forces to prioritize improvements in airborne early warning systems, missile defense technologies, and electronic countermeasures. In response, Western air strategies may shift toward greater standoff capabilities, advanced stealth aircraft, and more sophisticated electronic warfare systems designed specifically to counter threats posed by missiles like the R-37M. So, what's your perspective on Russia's introduction of a nuclear-armed air-to-air missile? Do you think this significantly changes the landscape of aerial combat, or is it primarily a symbolic measure designed to enhance deterrence? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.